can't even lie, I've been lonely as fuck. I can't even lie, I've been lonely as fuck. I can't even lie, I've been lonely, 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 lonely. Nah, no, you can you can keep on going. Yeah, you can keep on going. All right, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Bo Kiss coming in with you guys again with another vlog. Now, I am currently in New York. I don't know if I told you guys or not, but I am in New York for the weekend. Uh, my friend Miles is actually right here. Shout out to Miles right here. He uh, he asked his cousin if I can stay with him for the weekend, and he said yes. Yeah. So I'm up here. Came up on a mega bus. I just got here maybe like an hour, hour and a half ago, but. Uh, so far, New York is really, really crazy, really, really busy. I've never been here before, so it's definitely a new experience for me. It's different than New York, so I'm definitely going to have to go out and see the sights that I can't see in um, D.C. But, yeah, so tomorrow we're going to wake up early and go watch the um, Spider-Man Homecoming show at what time? 9.30. 9.30, so we're gonna go we'll watch it at 9.30 and then we're gonna take the, uh, the subway to different places like Flight Club, Supreme, and just go to different places in, um, in New York, stuff like that. But I will check in with you guys later. I am pretty tired, so I'm just gonna sit here and watch some more fun, man, and call it a night, but I will definitely check in back with you guys tomorrow in the morning. All right, guys, deuces. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Bo Kicks, and it is super, super early in the morning. It is 7:34 in the morning. <sighs> I got a long day ahead, starting by going to the movies. So, I will get back with you guys after I get out the shower and get ready to go. Alright. What's up guys, I'm checking back with you. Uh, I am now in the subway, waiting for the four and the five train to come. We got four minutes for the four train to come. But just want to touch in, uh, touch bases with you guys. Spider-Man was a lit ass movie. That was the perfect Spider-Man movie in my opinion. I loved it, it was funny. Uh, the characters were good, I liked the story of it. And I'm waiting for the next two to come out. But I think they're coming out like in two years, so I have to wait another two years. But overall, I love that movie. But now we are, I think, heading to Flight Club, I'm pretty sure. So I will touch bases with you guys when I get in there. Hopefully I can vlog in there, I'm pretty sure I can. but. If I can't, if I pick up anything, I will show you guys. I will catch up with you later. All right, so we are now walking to Flight Club. They said there's no sign on the on the entrance, so we're gonna have to. They know where it is. I have no idea where it is. They said they don't even have an address, so uh, hopefully it won't be too hard to find again. Huh? Okay, so it's on this street right here. Maybe. Maybe. All right, you gotta tell. You at least tell me the street. It's on this street. All right, I'm about to say, you at least tell me the street. I see a bag right there, so that means it's right there on the left. Some dude has a flight club bag, so it means it's on the left, probably. This <laughs> LeBron wall looking mighty nice. What's up YouTube? It's your boy Bo Kiss coming at you guys again with another video. And today guys, I do have some pickups as you can see right here. Got the red bag in the back. Just 
it's a little slight work you know a little flex on them right quick little subtle flex but we will get into that later in the video now this previous weekend like i said earlier i i did go to uh, new york i spent the weekend in brooklyn i don't know what part of brooklyn but i spent the weekend in brooklyn shout out to my friend and his cousin for letting me stay there for the weekend i did enjoy it actually some of the stuff i did i seen the the um, shit some of the things I did this weekend, I actually went to go see the Spider-Man premiere. But some of the other things I did, I went to Manhattan, Times Square, and of course I had to do a little shopping. So I went to, you know, a little Bape action, a little Supreme. Stuff costs too much, but Bape Supreme, Flight Club, and I did go to Y3. And as you can see right here, I do have some pickups from uh, Flight Club, but I also do have a pickup from Y3. Typically, I would not shop at Flight Club, but of course, when I was actually in New York, I had to buy something. I didn't want to buy anything online. So if I was going to buy something from Flight Club, I definitely had to do it in NYC. But let me go ahead and get into the pickups that I got. <laughs> closer person with you guys all right now i did pick up as you can see you got the black nike air force one box and of course we got the black and orange y3 box now let's go ahead and get into the first uh box actually okay so typically like i said earlier i wouldn't buy much from flight club because their prices are just outrageous i saw a concourse for 600 700 in there you can buy a brand new concourse for what four or five hundred like that's ridiculous but nonetheless i did cop something from there uh, I actually got these for retail, the uh, Jewel Air Force Ones, the Pearl colorway, I believe. I'm pretty sure these are the Pearl colorway. But yeah, like I said, I paid $125 for these. I'm actually, I think retail is $125, so I did get these for retail. So I, in my opinion, it was a steal. Because I wanted to get something from there, and I was like, okay, I was searching around what was under $250. And I found these, and they were half of $250. So I was like, I definitely, definitely got a cop. But yeah, overall, I wore these to work today, and they are very comfortable shoes. Uh, in Air Force Ones, I would recommend going down a half size because that's what I did. I'm a natural 12, but these are 11 and a half, and they fit perfectly. Uh, one thing about it, they crease. I wore these one time, and you can already see the creasing in them. But these are very good leather, and I'm not going to talk too much about them because I am going to do separate videos with uh, on foot reviews with both of these shoes. So I'm just going to give you a little overview of each shoe. So moving on to the designer, the designer flex. Moving on to this black box right here, we have the Y3 Pure Boost in the all white colorway. I wouldn't even call these all white, honestly, because they have a little gray part right there, the gray knit, but the all white colorway. Now these, I have been waiting on these for a very, very long time. And I saw these on the go at for 285 and in my opinion, I was like, oh, okay, that's a great steal. I might, I might buy them. So actually, when I got paid two weeks from now, I was honestly thinking about buying these for 285 But then I saw the Y3 store beside the Babe store in Soho, and I was like, okay, let me go check it out. So I went in there, and I was disappointed because I saw the uh, black and white in these, and I saw them for 320 I was like, oh, they ain't going to have, they ain't going to have the white ones. They ain't going to have no sale or nothing like that. I went in the back. And I saw a half off sales rack and I lit up. I saw so many Y3s that I would have got for half off. So I actually got these for 160. That is the best deal I have gotten in a long time, personally. $320 shoe for half off, that's a great steal. But like I said, I'm not gonna get too much into these shoes either because I am going to do a separate review on these. So, so yeah. All right, guys, that does bring us to the end of today's video. I know it was kind of short. My apologies about that. Actually, I couldn't get a lot of vlogging footage, and I apologize about that. But the reason for that is NY is very, very busy, and I couldn't carry around a big camera with a big tripod. I couldn't carry that around with a flight club bag. I couldn't do all that and get my subway card out. I couldn't do all of that, so I just decided to put it up. Oh, and another thing, I, another reason I didn't do it at flight club, I could have, but another reason I didn't do it at flight club, the people started staring at me like I was gonna steal something. And I'm sure it's some kind of regulation about recording and showing off merchandise and everything like that, but I have no idea why stores are so uptight about recording. I just want to show off the merchandise and show off my experiences with the store, but you don't want you don't want me to show your stuff, that's cool. It's fine. I'm not tripping. But this is the end of today's video. I hope you all guys enjoy it. And like I said, I will get reviews for these two shoes out soon. So just stay tuned for that. Turn on your post notifications. Make sure to like, 
comment, subscribe to the channel, and also make sure to leave suggestions and different topics that you want to see me cover. All right, guys, until next time, deuces.